Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So by the time this video, you can see that this is going to be a fragrance like collection. Well, I would say perfume, not fragrance, because there's a difference. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you all my perfume. Perfume that does exclude like all my Bath and Body Works. I have a lot of Bath and Body Works, but that's not perfume. Those are fragrance mists. So yeah, and if you're new to the, uh, and if you're new to my channel, I'm Alexia. Thank you for watching. Hopefully at the end, you like, comment, and you subscribe. And yeah. Okay, yeah. So I only have um 17 perfume right now. I know y'all might think that's a lot, but like I seen other people's collection, they have like 40 and up, you feel me? But um, yeah, I feel like I just started collecting perfumes probably like a couple months ago, probably like three months ago, whatever. Cause me, like I said, I have a lot of bath and body work, so that's always what I used to use. And then I realized like the Bath and Body Works wasn't really like lasting throughout the day. I would have to keep you spraying it. And you know, I know the trick where you put Vaseline and you spray it. I did that. Still didn't work. So then, you know, I started to get more into perfume. I guess you could say because of like the It Girl TikToks. Because like they put me into some perfumes. And I'm like, wow. I didn't realize that. I don't really have that much perfumes. So I started to collect it, whatever. And I'm obsessed. I cannot stop like i cannot stop i feel like i found the sense that i like before i didn't really know what i like but over the months i feel like i did find the sense i'm more of a sweet um like a sweet floral or like a you know vanilla bakery scent those are my three kind of favorite scents i like and i also like um fresh scents but certain fresh scents because some of them be overpowering but um yeah let me just get straight into the video so, um, I'm very obsessed with Juicy Couture. They're one of my favorite perfumes. So I have the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy perfume. It's just a very like, it's it's like a very light floral set, I feel like. This is more very floral, so I really like. So this is another Juicy Couture. This is the original scent, I forgot the name. But um, this is how that one looks. This is the same 3.4 fluid ounce. This one though, it's more like, this one is definitely much more sweeter than the Viva La Juicy one. This one is, yeah, this one is definitely like, it has like a candy kind of scent to it, but it's not overbearing. It's still nice and light, but it's definitely more sweet than the other one. Then I got, I guess this is a new Juicy Couture line, the OUI. We, oui. <laughs> no. this is how this looks, hold on, is it gonna be? Yeah, so this is how this looks. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce. This one, yeah, this one is like a more of a fruity scent, but it's not like, like fruity fruity. I guess you could say it's like a fruity scent mixed with a floral. Out of all three of those, I would definitely say this one is my favorite. I don't know. I just love it. But they're all really good. I love Juicy Couture. Next, I have this. Prada candy. This is just Prada candy. Um, this one gives very like grown woman set to me. Like it's, but it's not like a like old lady grandma set. You know what I'm trying to say? It just gives very like a sophisticated scent. So I like that for like if I want to feel sophisticated, you know. And then next, um, oh another. Before I get into that, I have another Prada perfume. This one is the Prada Kiss. Yeah, this is the product kiss. This is the like I think 1.8 or 3 ounce, 3 fluid ounce, one of those. I like this one definitely over this one. I don't, yo, this one, it just oh my god, I don't know how to explain it, y'all, but it's like flurry, but has like a sound like you know, like how baby powder smells. That's what it smells like. I don't know. I just love it. Like it's just so like a nice, like soft scent. I feel like so that I really like this one over the product kiss. Um, yeah, I don't know. That one just gives like it has like a baby powder hint to it. It's just very soft. All right. Next, I have the Ariana Grande Sweet Candy perfume. This is the with a fluff ball. And just so I'm sure you the product kiss because it wasn't really clear. This is how this looks. It is pink or whatever. Yeah, this, I don't like each of them smell, I'm just being extra. <laughs> this one, 
okay this one is definitely sweet like it said but the weird thing about it though it's sweet but it's not like a um like a sugary sweet you understand what i'm trying to say like it's not od so that's why i really like it and this gives like a very like it's very girly and like a very like youthful scent so yeah i forgot to show y'all before we went to the next one i have this juicy couture gold this is how this one looks with juicy couture gold this is a uh, one ounce and that this one it has a vanilla it's more of a vanilla scent so it's like a sophisticated vanilla scent i guess you could i guess that's how i put it i really like that one too i um i say if i'm going for like oh my god i have ignore this i have makeup on my hands yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry but um yeah that's a very it's very different from the other juicy couture's the other ones they're more like sweet and floral this one is a vanilla one. So, yeah. Next, I have the Ariana Grande Cloud. This is the Cloud, the first one, not the 2.0. This one, they say, is supposed to be a dupe for um, Baccarat. I never smell Baccarat, so I can't even tell y'all that, but I soon got y'all. I soon got y'all. But um, this, I honestly would say I like this one, the Cloud, over the Sweet Candy. Only because, like, this one, like, I don't know how to describe it just gives like hmm, like a sultry set like it's just very just mm, you know like soft it's not as youthful I would say as the sweet candy this one is very a little more grown this one is more grown okay okay but it's also giving like a little head of sweetness there and there it's not no like just straight up old scent all right all right next i have this Nicki minaj pink friday perfume this is the 1.7 fluid ounce i don't know why but this one kind of smells just like the um ariana grande sweet candy it's just a little bit more stronger i still like that though though don't get me wrong and you spray that you gonna smell it all day, okay? I mean, all of them you're gonna smell all day, but that one is like stronger. But it's not like stronger to the point where I get a headache, as long as I don't put on too much. But um, yeah. Next, no, I'm. Just, I don't know. <laughs> all right, next I have this Burberry for Woman perfume. This one, this is the 1.6 fluid ounce. This one. This one is definitely like I would say this one has more of like a mux, like I said a mux, a musky scent to it, but it's not like a a man kind of musky scent. You know what I'm trying to say? It just smells like it has like a very like woody kind of scent. So I feel like I like it, but um, like I said, I'm more towards like you know sweet and floral scents. But it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. I still wear it. And another one that kind of reminds me of a musky scent really is the ebony wood from zara um if you watch kyra like i do then you will know she's always putting this on so i'm like no no let me see what the hype is about because why is she always bragging about this perfume i got it and okay let me smell it okay like i'm like iffy about that one Cause it, okay it doesn't smell bad don't get me wrong it smell bad but it's definitely like a unisex perfume like if a man wanted to wear that he can and he wouldn't smell like a woman and women she could wear it but it still gives off like a sophisticated like grown scent to it so it's very unisex um the reason why i say i'm iffy about it is because like it's a little too unisex for me. Understand that like, I'm not really a musky scent kind of girl. I don't like, really like them strong, like woody scents. That's just not my style. But it might be some of you guys' style. I know a lot of people who I see get it and they say they like it. Everything's different. I mean, I still wear it though. Like I'll pair it with one of my Bath and Body Works perfume just to like balance it out. I guess you could say, and it works that way. But um, yeah, that's just one thing I'll say I'm iffy about out of all my perfumes. Okay, next I have this perfect 
by Marc Jacobs perfume. This one. Where did it go? Okay, yeah. This one is a very like floral scent. It's a very nice like soft floral scent. And it's like it has like a hint of like fruity kind of scents in it. But I feel like it's more on the floral side. It's very light. That's why I like it. And it's very just like that's how it sounds like. So yeah, that's how I would describe it. This is the um 1.6 fluid ounce. This is actually one of my like very first like I guess you say like high end perfumes like a perfume. Cause like I said, I never really was into perfume like that. I just wear my body mist and kept it pushing. All right, next, this is Miss Dior perfume. This one, this one, um, I really like this one. It kind of also, it's not the same scent as the powder kiss, but. You know, like that soft powdery scent, like at the end, like I said, the kiss has. That's kind of like what that reminds me of too. Like it has like a soft, like powdery scent at the end, but it's also like it still also has like a very like sexy kind of scent. But then it's like it's like it comes off as sexy first, and then it goes soft as like a nice soft scent at the end. So I really like that. And this is the. Uh, Three, yeah, three fluid ounce, three point fluid ounce. Okay, next, I have this creme vanilla. I don't know the brand. This is just the name. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it has a brand, but um, this is just one fluid ounce, and by the name, you sure already know that it smells like vanilla, but it's. It smells like vanilla, but not just straight up vanilla. And it's saying how some perfumes literally just smell like, like straight vanilla and sometimes that can be overbearing. No, it's like a very nice sock kind of like vanilla. It's, it's a very nice vanilla scented perfume. And I will actually spray that and like my Ebony Wood together or that and the Juicy Couture Gold one together. Those ones go really nice. Next, this is, I feel like... No. Next, I have this Dolce Gabbana, the one. Yeah, this one I really like how this one smells because it's very sultry. I guess you could say like it's just like it just gives me glamorous. Like I'm very glamorous, very grown, very much sophisticated. Like I just like it. I really like this scent. Like it's very. It's not like a um. Like I said, like a grandma said, or nothing. No, it's very glamorous. That's what I can describe it. But um, yeah, this is one of my recent, just recent purchases. When did I purchase this? Probably like a couple weeks ago, honestly. Um, born in Rome. Is it gonna focus? Valentino, born in Roma. Coro. This one. I seen a lot of girlies like on Instagram and TikTok post about this. I'm like, no, I have to get it. Uh, who, who can't resist this bottle? Like this bottle is so freaking cute. But um, yeah, this one I definitely I like this one. It's very it's very sweet. Just put it out there, but it's not sweet sweet. But it you're gonna smell that sweetness, and it also does have like a I don't know, it has kind of like a peachy kind of scent to it, or like a just like a some type of like fruity scent to it. But I really like that one. Like when I smelled it, I was like, no. Like I was when I sampled it, I just kept smelling it. Like I have to get this. I have to get this. No, I have to get this. I can't tell myself that. I'm just like I couldn't. It just smells so good, and it, it gave me very much like very spring slash summer vibes. Like that's a perfume I wear a lot during the spring slash summer that I feel like. And that, and last but not least, number one. What I mean, number uno, numero uno out of all these perfumes I just showed you, numero one. Well, actually, I'm wrong. This was my very like first first perfume before the Marc Jacobs. It was this 
then it was Marc Jacobs. But this is the pink sugar. Y'all. This is my second bottle. Yeah, I already see. Like, I use this a lot. And, like, I put my friend on, my cousin on. And he's not a spray. People are like, oh, what is that? That smells so good. Pink sugar. Pink sugar. Like, if I had to say I had a signature scent, this would be it. I kid you not. The summer of... The summer of um 2021, this was literally the only perfume I would spray, even out of all my Bath and Body Works, all that. I sprayed this on every single time I went out. Like, this is literally my signature scent. This, even though it is cheap, you know, people like like to look down upon cheap perfumes, but let me tell you something. I feel like this, out of all of them, probably lasts the longest. Like, when I mean all day, you're smelling this all day. And it's a very like you know like um cotton candy, but it's also like uh like a how do I describe it? I don't, I don't want to say dry sugar, but it's like you know like when you put sugar in a pan and you you know and it gets brown like that kind of scent. Yeah, and it's a very like a it has like a cotton hint uh, a cotton candy hint to it. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. This this forever have my heart. I will never stop buying this. Never. Okay? I mean never. I mean never. Like it was to the point where um if you live in Brooklyn or whatever, you know like how them guys on the side be selling them body oils. They have one of pink sugar, you know. I had to get me okay. I had to get that. I had to. I had to. Is this yeah, yeah. If you never tried this, I'm telling you right now. Please go. Please, 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 please. Okay, it will not doubt you at all. But um, yeah, I would say that's it for all my fragrance collection. Like I said, I have body mist and I have body oils because I do like to pair my perfumes with the body oils. It makes it last even more, and it smells extra good because the body oil is already scented. But, um, yeah, that's just my small perfume collection. Trust me, it's still growing. And I'm going to get up there because I don't know why I'm just obsessed with, like, perfume now. Specifically for the reason that they last longer than body mist. In my opinion, you don't have to buy no expensive perfume. The pink sugar, that is, like, $20. $20. And it's like, why go spend what? How much is a... I bought a body mist from... Bath Body Works, other way, $16, right? Why would I get a $16 body mist when I can get a $20 perfume that lasts longer? You feel me? So it's like, you know, I still wear my body mist though. Don't get me wrong. I'll pair with perfume, but I've just been getting obsessed with perfume more. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications for every time that I post. Sorry for the whole week delay. Last week, I got a new job and I was training, so I, I'm sorry, I cannot record for that whole week because the training, we had to take tests and all that for it, yeah. So, that whole week was just too chaotic for me, so that's why I didn't um, record. But I was like, no, I'm gonna get this video out for them one way or another, I'm not playing because already a week passed by. Like, no, that's, that's unacceptable. Like, it's literally 101 in the morning that I'm making this video, That's because that's how much I love y'all. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy and be on the lookout for another video.